Welcome to the journey into Web 2.0. My name is Carla Pendergraft, and this is a presentation created for Expo 2010, a program for Texas state agencies in Austin. And there will be trainers and all sorts of people at that seminar. And so what I did when I cr created this presentation was I put myself in their shoes, and I thought if I was a trainer at a Texas state agency, and people were asking me about social media, what would I need to know? What would I need to bring back to them? in order to help facilitate the transition into this new technology. So let's get started. Why do we need to even think about using social media? Well, all of our constituents, and if you're with a Texas state agency, your constituents are your boss, uh, coworkers, other agencies, people within your agency looking to you for guidance, in addition to the constituents of your state agency. So you've got a lot of them. And President Obama has said that government should be transparent, open, and collaborative. And these tools, Facebook, Twitter, wikis, blogs, are so well suited to collaboration. That's what they're about. However, before you get started, each state agency needs to have a clear communication strategy. They need to take the time to determine how social media fits into the strategy. And for some state agencies, there will be a very clear path. For others, it may take years to really get into these tools. I'm going to try to make it a little more accessible to you during this presentation. Here are some of the questions that you need to consider. Who is this media meaning to reach? And is this my target audience? What is the agency attempting to communicate? Can it be effectively communicated using this media? Because Facebook and Twitter are not for every agency. If you're more inwardly focused, on other state agencies, maybe those are your constituents, Facebook and Twitter are not probably the ways you need to communicate. But if you're outwardly focused on people, the community, or Texans in general, then this may very well be a way that you need to think about communicating. A key point is who is going to be responsible for managing the agency's account. And I need to warn you that when you set up a Facebook fan page, that's the business page not the personal page, but the business page for your agency. Whoever sets that up will permanently be on that account. So you do not want an intern or somebody who's going to move on in the next year or two to set up that account because they cannot be deleted. So once they're on there, they're on there. However, you can set up other admins. We'll go into this in more detail later. You can, you can set up more admins or administrative people on that account. So if that intern or whoever set it up leaves, other people will have access. You just can't delete that original person. So it is an important consideration. And has this person been properly trained? Again, I do see people look to our 20-somethings for guidance in this area, and they, they may know how to use social media on a personal basis, but using it on a professional basis to represent a state agency or a business is a completely different matter and try to get with somebody who really knows what they're talking about, a social media consultant or, or somebody from the business world, rather than just trusting your 20-somethings. I have great respect for what 20-somethings know, but again, they may or may not really understand the use of it for business purposes. And then what are your agency's responsibilities regarding collection and records retention, including the preservation of social media content? This is a difficult, difficult question. Because Facebook, uh, for example, is not, you really can't archive the content from your fan page. There are tools out there to archive personal Facebook pages, but not the fan pages or the business pages. And uh, really the only way that I know of, and I have done extensive research on this, I've talked to um, the federal government even to, to find out what are the tools that can be used that are out there. And there really aren't any other than doing screen prints. And all of you know how to do a screen print, alt print screen, to get a screen print of something on there. But that's not a very practical way to do it. I do believe the tools will rise up that will be used for that at some point. But right now, if you have to preserve all of your records and the only place that you're posting information is, for example, on Facebook, then you're going to have to be taking screen prints. And that's going to be just a very tedious process. Um, 